say, a level at which the domestic market rolls forward and has done for some time. So a lot of it is about the swing international buyer who is looking for a, part, a place to park money or indeed use Panama as a safe and secure home for the bank. And so who is coming? Is it well, the Russians? You have, is it the Europeans? Well, you have, uh, you have obviously the Latinos. You have uh, uh, strong influence from Venezuela. Uh, obviously, as long as the situation stays as it is uh, with Maduro, uh, we are expecting more and more buyers from uh, from Venezuela. You, you definitely have lots of buyers that uh, uh, from the Miami area, uh, and those are Brazilians, those are uh, people from Chile, from all over Latin America. Uh, Panama is trading at about 20 cents on a dollar compared to Miami, so you're looking at uh, uh, for a prime location residential. I give an example. You're looking at 200 dollars a square foot. Miami. Uh, we've been investing a lot in Miami in 09, and the, the market, uh, the real estate market recovered heavily. Uh, and so we are looking for the same property, same quality, uh, at a price which is three times higher at least. And the, the difference in Panama is that you also have uh, tax exemption. So, for example, on uh, on many buildings, you have about 20 years tax exemption. And uh, obviously, that compares with the 2% property tax in the US. So that's all relatively attractive. Uh, Charlie? And then I would say Europe, obviously, Europeans, uh, uh, it, I mean, you have uh, uh, from all over. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, let Charlie jump into the question. Yeah, I mean, Panama has sort of been growing as a safe haven, hasn't it? It's, it's been growing quite a bit of years, the last decade or so. And, and it's trying to be the sort of Switzerland or the Singapore of the region. Uh, you know, uh, can you talk about how, how that reputation has grown? Is it justified? And, 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 and how secure should people be in that regard? signing uh, uh, several double tax treaties, so it's not on, in, on any grey list anymore. Uh, you have a very strong banking system. Uh, you have, at, at the moment, you have over 80 banks uh, from HSBC. All the major players are in Panama. Uh, all the largest Swiss banks moved to Panama, relocated their uh, Latin America headquarters from Miami to Panama. Uh, to mention a few, we have the Credit Suisse, UBS, uh, uh, BXI. Uh, and, and, and Panama is becoming more and more uh, a big hub for the whole uh, for the whole, uh, for the whole Americas. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of legal system, uh, the legal system is uh, uh, Spanish and Roman law, so uh, we feel very comfortable with it. Um, and as I said, it's a dollarized economy. 